Yaho! Prof here, and today, or rather tonight, we got some Pokemon Bulls. A bit of a rather ominous lighting going on here, because I'm keeping it pretty chill. And the main reason why we're doing this is I want to eat some ice cream. But, uh, it, um, is very hard when it's right out of the freezer, so I thought we'd burn some time. Uh, and we'll be doing it on this table here. The reason being is I finally sorted all of my hollows. Um, they're not in order yet, but they're by series slash expansion. But uh, I have not gotten to actually putting them all away yet. So we can't use the now normalized uh, workbench over here to do the Pokemon pulls. Um, oh, and all my promo cards are in these two deck boxes there. So, we're going to do, yeah, and then this is empty now, because I even pulled the ones out of here for now. And, uh, oh, we got something else. If you guys have seen, uh, oh, that's, not, that's not an orange one. Here. These orange uh, magnet guys here. Um, those are for putting on your bit to magnetize, or more magnetize your bit if it's already magnetized. Um, you put them on normal screwdrivers as well if they fit. Um, they now come in more than just orange. So I ordered some red and some uh, green. Red to go with my uh, snap-ons and green to go with my new snap-on. Just to blend in a bit more and not be so, so obvious. I still prefer the Makita version. Uh, even though it's, it doesn't have the exposed magnets, so using it uh, to put in screws is a little tougher, but it does do a better job and is much more sleeker, more sleek, at uh, you know magnetizing it. Um, and I did find a way to still get these. They apparently still sell a bit set that has uh, the Makita Mag Boost. They call this. Make sure you don't get the new one though. Or just pick up these old Olsa Tools ones. They're actually, I would say, better. They're just not as compact. I, and I just prefer the Makita one. Uh, be, like It's like 20 some bucks to buy that bit set. If you don't have a need for the bits, just pick these up. It's 10 bucks for a two-pack. Um, much better deal. And actually, if you're using them like with a drill and stuff, which is where a lot of these orange ones are going to go, uh, is with my normal non-piece repair tools, um then uh, it, you can actually put it at the end of the bit and hold onto the screw because there's exposed magnets there, which is kind of handy. Rather than, um, you know, like here, like putting it at the base. Uh, and then what it does then is it just magnetizes the bit, which is nice for PC stuff because you can easily pick up screws. So, yeah, you got a bit of a bit of text, text tips um, with, uh, with the old... Um, whatever you want to call it, uh, Pokemon Pulls here. So we're going to try out the GoPro clamp. Because there is a very small lip in the front of here. Maybe I can make that work. Alright. So what we have for you today is upside down here. And that is the Zacian, I believe it is, or Zacian. I got the C. Is this supposed to be like an S or whatever? But uh, this is the tin, specifically the Galar Legend tin, I believe it's called, or Legends of Galar tin. There you go. Now this is a Amazon warehouse one. Um, so we'll have to see if it's legit. Um, if not, at least my ice cream melted a little bit, so it's easier to eat. I know, great outlook on life, right? Slicey slice here. Oh, before we do that, I need some pictures. Always forgetting the pictures. There 
right, and then one more for the YouTube thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, this clamp works pretty well. Here, I wish you could use it over in the other area as well, but uh, the clamp isn't wide enough, so I have to find a chunkier clamp. You can tell this has been resealed. By the holes. This is just cheap shrink wrap. We used to use this stuff at uh, GameStop when I worked there. Let's we'll see if we can get that sticker off here. That's gonna be annoying. Or Zak it's not Zayakin. Zakian? Uh, let me know. So that one's a tough one. And in here we have one, two, three, four. Ooh, they're a bit beat up. I don't think they've been opened. Oh wait. Oh, this XY Evolutions is for sure torn. You can see it. If you guys can... It's torn right... There. You can see a tear. And that corner is all messed up. These were all resealed. This is like a really damn good job. Yeah, the ones in the X Y Evolutions weren't all lined up either. Yep, you can see this one's torn down here too. Right there. Well, I guess, um... Let's open these up. They're in the wrong order too. Because it goes Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, XY Evolutions, Sword and Shield, and Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. I think it should be Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Like, generally they put it in, in this order. But yeah, these, especially these older packs look uh, look like they've been opened because they're definitely torn on the bottom, as if they have been. Well, let's. Uh, I mean, worst case, if we open them up and we find there's a bunch of stuff missing, like the po packs are a little poofy too. Now, some some brand new packs are sometimes, um, but uh, yeah, oh, we're getting off. Uh, I need a. That. It's getting a little sweating. Let's give it a little taste here. This one's specifically a southern butter pecan. That's a little softer. That's pretty good. I ate a lot of that last night. It was the weekend. I watched a movie. Half fell asleep. And I decided the other night I wanted ice cream. So, you know, as an adult, you know what you do? You get ice cream. Pro tips there, guys. Alright. Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Pack number one. It's a white back. Supposedly. Let's find out here. Two, three, four. Grass. Water. We have Palo Sand. Sorry if there's some weird lighting here. I just don't want to get on all my lights. Just for one little thing here. Especially because the normal spot we would do this is all full training court. 
Lampert, Lampint. I have that in promo form, actually, from a Dreepy. Snover. Binnacle. Galarian Darumaka. Vulpix. Reverse Hollow Shuckle, which I, I actually just pulled the other night. And Luxray Hollow. That's got to be one of the most common hollows ever. Um, let's just keep these all the way they were for now because, like I said, these look like they've been opened. So, maybe not these two Rebel Clash packs, but like definitely this Sword and Shield. You can see it's been disturbed in that corner there. So, This thing a whiff. Yeah, not much, not much smell to it. Another loose back here. Got a white back. One, two, three, four. I'm going to address fire. Dark. Okay. And we have Palo Sand again. Milo. Truffield Stadium. Turfield Stadium. Sorry. Helio Tile. Voltorb. Sandy Gast. Vulpix. Coughing, Reverse Hollow Magikarp, and that's it. That's not right. There's only nine cards in here. Or ten if you include that. But somebody pulled... Oh, it's supposed to be 10, but it's a white back. That's supposed to have two. These might be repacked, guys. Well, let's correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Rebel Clash is supposed to have. Like when you get a white back, it's two holo cards. Okay, let's do our sword and shield here. Yeah, if this been open, it was open from the bottom. Got a green back this time. One, two, three, four. Electric fire. Okay. Raboot hop. Poke gear. Yamper. Scorpy. Clopopus, Wulu, Sobble, that one's available in a, in a reverse hollow ghastly, held by a rare non hollow Raichu. That sort of makes sense. This one's crimped super weird, like it's like bent over on the end here. And you can tell it's been torn too. You can see that right there. It was torn right there. This is, by the way, uh, Burning Shadows. That pack, so. okay. Got a white back. One, two, three, four? No, three. I never remember. Sun, moon must be three. Mount Lanakilla, Noctowl, Rhydon, Tangela, which is really cool art. Routes. Rhyhorn, Hoot Hoot, Merrill, Reverse Hollow Routes, if 
followed by another energy. Yeah, these are all repacked. Yup. Oh, another energy. Never mind, I did that wrong. But still, it's a white back. That should be two rares. And all we have is a common hollow. This is some fucking bullshit again. All this is going right back where it came from. We'll open up this one though. And uh, see what we supposedly are getting with XY Evolutions here. The one that was most disturbed. The cards I could even tell were not even in straight. Like not even in the pack straight. One, two, three. Blastoise Spirit Link. Polywhirl. Misty's Determination. Charmander. Diglett, my man. Drowsy. Caterpie. Doduo. Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Another common hollow. And Dugong. Pretty sure. Yeah, every, like two of these, those two were supposed to have two hollows in them, they only had one, and they only have common hollows, not, um, not, uh, rares, so, yep, these are, uh, these were definitely resealed, like I said, I caught that on this pack the first time. Um, so these resealing does exist, for sure. You can see a tear here. They did a shit job of opening it. Saw that on Sword and Shield and the Burning Shadows. The Rebel Clash, I didn't see anything wrong physically on the pack, but that one only had one hollow in it when it's supposed to have two. So, people are pulling this bullshit. Um, and I guess that's where this video ends, because I'm going to go eat my ice cream before it completely melts. And this will have to get sent back to Amazon. I was really hopeful because I am missing this tin. I have the other one, the Zamizata or whatever. I have that tin. I do not have the Zashian one. So, rip. And I guess uh, sometimes that happens with Amazon Warehouse, which is why you have Amazon Prime and you just send her back. Um... Oh, and I wouldn't have blamed, like, them to check this off, like, until I looked at the very bottom of the packs and could see they were resealed. Like, is it really worth putting that much time into this bullshit? Like, you gotta open them carefully. I mean, this person obviously didn't. But then you gotta reseal them. Like, you have to be doing this in mass to make that worth your time. Right? Am I wrong? Because, like, I don't think I have any pulled any, maybe one card that's worth any decent amount of money. I might be wrong again, you could correct me, because a lot of you might have been watching since the beginning. But, like, so you either have to be pulling, like, a lot of cards that are worth $10 and selling them all, but then you gotta remember you gotta ship them and sell them, and there's all these issues, especially if you're using eBay or whatever, revolving around that. Um, there's a lot of risk. I just have this feeling that there's way more risk than there is reward if you're ripping off these Pokemon packs. Unless you're doing it on some massive scale. But then you'd think Amazon would catch on really quick. Maybe they do. Maybe I just don't know about it. But then, why am I getting so many of these? Are just that many people repacking these? Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to go enjoy my ice cream now. And we'll see you guys in the next one where hopefully we have a bit better luck with this nonsense. See ya.